Well, look at who we have, one of our favorite guests, right? And we know what time of the year it is because Mrs. Claus is here. Welcome back to the Butler Buzz. Thanks, Trisha. I came in with the snow today. You did make it snow today. I did. It, it is beautiful outside. And it was a bit of a surprise for us here. For everyone here in Butler it was, but not at the North Pole. We have snow all the time. Yes, absolutely. And so we wanted to have you back because besides being so busy at the North Pole, you have a big heart. And so does Mr. Claus. But we wanted to talk to you about one of your favorite missions, and that's the Hang Tough Stockings Stuffed with Love and Care. You still doing that? I am. I do. And I come back to Butler every year to do that. And right now, that is why the snow was so important today, because today kicked off the official starting date of the stockings. Okay. And we will be collecting stockings in 26 different locations in Butler County this year. And we have... Um, boxes out. They'll be running from November 1st through the 12th. All right. So um, just in case somebody missed you last year, okay. your, what where do these stockings go? What is the mission of the organization? The mission of the organization is to pre present them to people that are fighting cancer, the battle of their life, and right. having something to do while they're getting their, their treatments. Um, the stockings are stuffed with love and care, so we never know what might be in each stocking. But they have coloring books and crayons and puzzle books and some snacks and some goodies to munch on while they're there. Right. And just some special treats for them to make them know that they're loved and cared about in Butler County. Wow. So that is just lovely that you do this. And I know we were talking before we got started today, you've actually delivered over what? How many stockings? Over 10,000 stockings in Butler County now. Over 10,000 yes. stockings in Butler County. Yes. We have been doing this for quite a while. And... We have surpassed our 10,000 stocking. Um, and, and sometimes people look at that in two ways, like there's that much cancer. And yes, there is that much cancer, but there's nothing that, that the stockings are going to prevent the cancer. It's just to present the smiles to someone while they're fighting there. Yeah, and I think it's so important to let other people know in those situations that affect all somebody we know, right? Right. That we love them and that we care for them. Correct. Nobody has gone on in this world without being touched. Exactly. By someone, friend, relative, um, neighbor, church friend, neighbor, yes, that perhaps has been diagnosed with cancer. Right. So when you see these collection boxes in the 26 different locations, which you'll see on the website, people can drop off a stocking that's already filled and put it in the box. They can. Or individuals can actually drop off or put in the box like individual items, right? They can. And we have a list of nice things for their stockings and naughty things for their stockings. And by naughty, we mean something that might be smushed, like a bag of yeah. potato chips or little containers of applesauce that might get everything else in the stocking ruined. Right. So this way we have the nice and naughty list so that you have ideas. One of the favorite ideas, and I don't know if it's Butler County, but they just love scratch off lottery tickets. Oh, yes, they do. Yay, do. And that <laughs> gives them something to chitter chatter about while they're scratching off their lottery tickets. Mm -hmm. And they just love uh, looking through and sharing with each other that are sitting by them. And yeah. what and, did you get, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's in your stocking? What's in your stocking? And there's so many stories that I could share. And uh, you know, with the stockings in the past, but every stocking tells a story from the time that you go shopping and buy stuff to put in the stocking to your family stuffing those stockings full, writing out a little thinking uh, of that's you what note, I was just thinking about putting that. a Christmas card in it or whatever you might want to, you know, just a blessing card or whatever. And when you put that in there, that's coming from your heart, but then you're also giving it to the cancer patient, which is going from your heart again, but going to them. Right. And so then when they open it, they have a story to tell too of how much that meant to them. One day we had a lady that received a colored picture from a four-year-old and she said she never had grandchildren so that meant the world to her to hang that on her refrigerator sure. so she felt like she finally fit in with everybody else and that that meant so much to her to have the colored photo like you know out of a coloring book and you know you're just giving me so many good ideas I think this would be a wonderful like family tradition to start it is and to get the whole family involved in that so that's something for us to think about I do know that there are some different organizations clubs sports girls Scouts, Boy Scouts that do this as part of their group, right? There is. We have um, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. We have some bowling leagues. We have a football team. We have some uh, hockey players that love doing this. 
we have a lot of elementary schools on board this year. We have some preschools that get a big chuckle out of doing this because they get to be Santa, you oh, know, yeah, and stuff yeah, right. stockings. Sure. And then we also have um, a new school on board this year. So we're anxious to see all these schools and what they can present. It's it's not only giving, but it's teaching them right. how to give and, and how you can make something um, just from your heart to give to someone. So besides the giving and the preparing of the stockings, I would m imagine that you could use some volunteers to help with some of this work. We do, and we are so appreciative that Meridian Vol Volunteer Fire Company gives us the station in okay. Meridian to turn, Organize. In, turn into the North Pole. Okay. And we do this on starting on the 14th of November okay. up until the 28th, hoping to be done before Thanksgiving so that we can get them into the facilities so they're ready to be handed out as soon as Thanksgiving's over. Oh, yeah. And we want to make sure people understand that we would love to make this not about Christmas, but this is just when it falls in. We do celebrate Thanksgiving and are very grateful and very thankful for everybody that participates with us. But with getting them into the facility, since we have so many to do, it takes time. It so take we need time. the whole month of November to do that. Yeah. And a lot of help. And a lot of help. All right. So check out the website. And do I hear you're going to be back for our annual parade? I am. I will be back. Uh, nothing's better than lights, Christmas lights, and, and sights and sounds of Christmas. Um, so we're always on the main street of downtown Butler. All right. Um, for the, the Christmas parade, which is a light up parade, and we love Christmas lights and yeah. stuff. So, well, mark your calendar because you can see Mrs. Claus on November the 25th, 5 30. That's when the parade starts on Main Street of Butler. And thank you again for all the great thank work you, you do. Thank you for having me back every year. I love being here. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.